Be self-sufficient. Have letter number 5500. December 15, 2015. Let me remind you that we are seeking self-sufficiency. You are my child, yet not my helpless infant. Of course, I provide. In all truth, I am the only one who does provide. I am God from whom all blessings flow. You are to honor others. You may be a great receiver, yet be cautious as rating yourself as a prime receiver of my goodness even as you are. There is no best of all God's children in the land. Be busy giving of your love to others than to be so in awe of the heights you like to think you have reached. You are not exempt from responsibility to plow your own fields. You have no place nor time to think you know the whole score, and others, or even one other, does not. I have one child. Of course, you are glad and grateful when I come to your aid, yet, by all that is holy, I don't want you to be lazing around waiting for me to rescue you. I have said it before, and I'll say it again, beat me to it. Take initiative and get out there and make happen what you want to have happen. Rely on me, yet don't wait for me. Get out there and work to serve me and all of humanity. I rely on you. I do not raise you to ask me for everything. I do not raise you so that you think you are entitled to special favor, and that others, perhaps, are not so entitled. Be glad and grateful, and yet don't sit on top of Mount Ida and think you know more than others. Do not sit around thinking that you are more highly evolved than another. You might be surprised, beloveds. Don't be sanctimonious. Don't be smug. Don't be so proud of yourself that you give an impression, most especially don't give an impression to yourself, that you are high and mighty or the cat's meow. You know what I am talking about. I do desire every single one of my sons and daughters to think more highly of himself or herself. This does not mean, I repeat, this does not mean that you are to think less of anyone else as a means to think more of yourself. When you think less of anyone else, this is proof that you really don't value yourself enough. I do not ask you to put yourself down. However, to presume that you are entitled to grade another's worth is pride pompous pride. Watch yourself. This kind of pride is fake in that its intent is to bolster you. Bolster the person across from you or next to you. Set yourself straight. What happened to do not judge? Support everyone. Encourage everyone. Now, I will go a little further. If you notice that someone is putting you down and thus raising himself in his own estimation, note that, too often, what you find fault in another is exactly the fault that exists with you. Birds of a feather flock together. What you see tends to be what you are. This is not across the board, yet this, most often, is the case. Whatever you condemn another for, you may well excel in. Dear ones, appreciate yourself, yet do not take yourself so seriously. You are not meant to have a shrine to worship yourself in. While on earth, be an angel. You have the power within you to uplift the world. It's easy. Simply do not hold yourself up as better than anyone else especially when it comes to the spiritual realm. You may be a better seamstress. You may be a good soul, even a great soul, yet you are not, under any circumstances, to be a rooster who crows. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org